you know, we met five years ago in a similar, like, in a rescue situation. And even then, like, we rescued, like, a whole number of dogs, but there was nowhere to put them. For this kind of project, in a country like this especially, it would be difficult to make the project successful if it was just a side project. So, you know, we put it down to, as they say, six months of hard, hard work is the same as doing three years at a normal pace of work. Mm -hmm. So since May, Mar uh, May last year, I think we've come a long way. You know, we've um, secured the land from the government. Uh, but she has been adopted and she's due to go to camp hopefully in December. So she's lucky and we're trying to get like another dog adopted either in the States or Canada. Mange, like all the skin, everything. But she's recovered like 99% now. Basically, This one was completely paralyzed, but she's got better. She's in the angel. Oh, she likes it. She usually barks at everyone. <laughs> yeah. Hello. If I open the door, it can come out. Hello. That's a uh, Petty with her six puppies. Mm -hmm. They are troublemakers. Uh, now you have to transfer the first the puppy, and you will hold the puppy, and I will get the mom. Saving them again, human beings. Um, it's a hard job. It's a really very hard job. They are just like us. You just have to give them a chance to live peacefully and help them. But life without animals is like a meaningless. So we have to do our best to help them and do what's best for them. It's a very hard mission, to be honest with you. But we will never give up. We will, we will work hard and harder day after day. Uh, to send our message and to, to, we will try to, to do our best to save lives. 